the universe is a novelty producing engine of some sort. And the further you move from the birth of the universe, the more novel the universe becomes until you arrive here tonight. This is the most novel moment to date in the history of the universe. It is not only a world of astrophysical forces, or a world of astrophysical forces plus organic chemistry, or astrophysical forces, organic chemistry plus biology. But this is a world that has all the levels of novelty that have accumulated throughout the career of the evolving universe. Each level built on the level which preceded it. And one thing I want to point out about this is that this is the first, if you agree with this, then the first payoff is that suddenly human importance is taken back from the scientific view that we are the chancely evolved witnesses of a meaningless process in an ordinary corner of a universe too vast to conceive or imagine. That incredibly disempowering picture of who we are in the cosmos is uh, <clears throat> misled. The actual facts of the matter are that in our bodies, in our brains, in the culture that we have assembled, all the novelty that preceded us has been exploited and is expressed and is honored we then begin to look like partners in the project of the production of novelty and more novelty and yet greater novelty. Okay. That's the first fact which uh, science overlooked, the conservation of novelty. The second fact that science overlooked is more of a stretch in terms of the break with the past style of thinking that it requires. The second fact which science overlooked is the fact that each advance into novelty, each new level of novelty occurs faster than the level which preceded it. This is incredibly important because what it means is that the culmination of the novelty producing process could be far closer to us in time than we might ordinarily suppose using scientific assumptions about reality. And those of you who have heard me before have heard me say, history is the shock wave of eschatology. What that means is that the presence of ourselves on this planet, using culture, using language, transferring information electronically around the world, our presence on the planet means that the universal process of novelty production has entered one of its very short cycles. And so what it means is that asymptotic acceleration of change is built into the structure of space-time itself in this region of the cosmos. History is ending. Time is literally running out on this planet. And it isn't about political mistakes or anything where we should blame ourselves. It's in the structure of the fabric of space-time itself. And the proof of this is ourselves because the emergence of conscious human beings 
out of advanced primates occurred with such explosive suddenness that it, like history, argues that we are in the presence of a process that is quickly beginning to accelerate and cross boundary level after boundary level as it bursts through to greater and greater degrees of freedom. So I believe that we are actually preparing to decamp from ordinary history. I don't know exactly what that means, but the continuation of history for decades, centuries, millennia is inconceivable. That is the hallucination of the establishment.